Welcome back to Ish Talk. I'm Dakota Van Howen, and we have another special guest with us here today. If you want to go ahead and introduce yourself. Surely. Uh, my name is Gina Snodders, and I am the marketing leader for the entire system. Okay, fantastic. How long have you been here? I have been here probably a total of about 15 years. Okay. Um, I started uh, way back in the day. I don't mm. even remember the year, to be <laughs> honest. But I worked here for about 11 years, and mm. then I left and pursued some other things for seven years and then just came back, well not just, about four years ago. Okay, yeah. awesome. So what was the, what drove you to come back? Well there weren't, I, I got my real estate license mm -hmm. while I was out and I did a couple other things at a couple other different facilities, mm -hmm. um, managed a clinic at another um, hospital, two others actually, and um, just that wasn't my thing. Mm -hmm. It just it wasn't me. Right. I could do it, but I didn't really enjoy it that mm -hmm. much is what I'm doing now. So, and then the real estate business, I started in Des Moines, moved to Ames, and then came up here. Mm -hmm. And the further north that I moved, the less business I got mm -hmm. because it's just less, you know, it's right. more saturated. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I kind of was at that point in my life where I just wanted another real job. Mm, okay. um, so then I called Holly actually mm -hmm. and I said, hey, what do you guys got going on at the hospital? I, you know, I'd be interested in coming back. Mm -hmm. And she said, let me get back to you. It was like a week later. I thought, well, you know, this is, we're done. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and she finally called me back and she says, I'm sorry to leave you hanging, but Steve was on vacation mm -hmm. and they just wanted to visit about it. But they said that, um, ironically, Kim mm -hmm. needed help and would I want my, basically my old job back. Mm -hmm. And so I came and, and had a conversation with them mm -hmm. and here we go. Here I am. Yeah, in this beautiful marketing house that you guys get. I know, it's, we love it. Yes, it's getting it feels, better every time. I feel spoiled, but yeah. we really needed this space. Yeah. I'm just do. waiting for that last office on the end to open up. Right? And I'm, I'm jumping over <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah. yeah, It's already filled. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I know, but maybe me and Kelsey can share or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 she's nice. We're, she's yeah. so nice. I'm super friendly, kind yeah. of sometimes, I don't know. Mornings are not so much for me. But, I feel, yeah, I'm that way too. Grouchy. Just don't even look at me in the morning. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Like if anybody asks me a question before probably nine o'clock, I'm just kind of staring and like growling almost. Yeah. yeah. I actually yeah. come alive around five o'clock at night. Weird. Me too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But it's only for like an hour. And then like right. I'm back to like tired and I just want to lay down. And you know, it's like a running joke in our department that all I want to do ever in my life is sit and watch Netflix. Yeah. I, I that, don't I'm see the problem with content. that. If you could figure out how to make money doing that, you'd have it made. We can talk later. Okay. I don't want to we'll tell visit. people about our new business venture that we just <laughs> decided to come up with. Um, so to kind of tell me what what you love about marketing, what you love about your job. Working with me is probably priority one. It is yes, the yes. best thing ever. Right. Yeah. Um, See? I love, well, I, I went to Iowa State as an English major okay. um, with the sole thought that I wanted to get into public relations. Mm. So when my mom and I, when I was in high school, we were talking about the best major for that as opposed to communications or something mm. like that. She said, you need to be well versed mm. and, and that's a good way to become a better communicator. Mm. Um, I hate it when she's right, but she was. <laughs> seems like she's, I've met her, she's right about a lot of things, I know, it seems it's, like. it's not good yeah. <laughs> for me. Um, so then I, then I also got a business degree. Okay. So those two things combined, um, and actually I ended, I didn't go into, you know, public relations right mm -hmm. away, but um, having, having the variety of every, of all the things to mm -hmm. do, and I love working with the public. Right. Um, I was on the radio at KQWC for years, with yeah, doing our own. You. Yeah, do, well, we do all do all the ad, the radio ads, but then I also had a show. Not me, but I hosted it right. for the hospital, uh -huh. and that was really fun. Just you know, interviewing all of the guests, and the mm -hmm. guests were all internal staff, employees, right. providers, whatever. Um, a guest DJed on the show, or on the yeah. radio. That was super fun. What are we talking like country music, pop music, just, just anything? Just contemporary, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. it was nothing so, fancy, yeah. but but just I love working with the public. Mm -hmm. I, I am not afraid of public speaking. Mm -hmm. um, I just love creating. Mm -hmm. I love being creative. Um, so all of those things combined, I think, just have been a really good fit for this job. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. No, and I think you do phenomenal, especially when I bring up some random idea that pops into my head and I'm sure you guys kind of roll your eyes while you go, here we go again. 
but <laughs> we just don't let you see us yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's usually through an email, and you're like, nope, we can't oh, get this geez. done. Yeah. <laughs> like, there goes emailing. Here, here we go. Yeah, um, but no, I mean, it's been really fun. You know, like I've never really worked at a facility that has had like a specialized market marketing department, and you know, like you guys. We came to you with this idea of ish talk. Right. And you guys are like, oh, yeah, we can do that. That's easy. Yeah. Well, you know, you know Steve's the whole thing and mantra in life is the answer to how is yes. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of like that right. in our department. You know, we try to figure out a way to make everything work mm -hmm. and um, really pride ourselves, I think, on keeping up on the latest trends mm -hmm. and um, just try to stay mainstream mm -hmm. with everybody else. We're always looking at, at the competition and right. see what they're doing and... We're winning, by the way. Absolutely, yes. we are winning. I've been to a couple career fairs, and by I, our table is probably the nicest decorated one. Awesome, so, good. Yes, provided from you guys. That's so, good to yes, hear. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, I like being on the other side. Like, yeah. So if there's a table of some other hospital that we know of, and mm -hmm. I'm just kind of like staring at them, like, yeah, our table. Yeah, and I am table. super competitive, mm -hmm. so I think that fits in this role really well. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. You have cats. Tell I have, me about your cats. <laughs> I have never not had a cat. Okay. I have never not had less than two cats. Okay. Um, the most I've ever had, if anybody is interested to know, is eight. And oh, that boy. was when we lived in this big, gigantic Victorian house mm. here in town, and it didn't seem like it because mm. people would always give me flack about my cats. And I, I'm thinking, you know, my cats put together do not equal your great dame. Right. So let's just keep it, you know, in perspective. Right. But well, I mean, even in a big house, one cat can be gone for like a week and you probably not even notice. You know. Exactly. So it's like it's really like you only had seven cats. Yeah, and they're day. quiet, they don't bark, you don't have to let them out, you know, yeah. yada yada. But yes, I am the crazy cat lady. Mm -hmm. My license plate says Meowzer. I cannot Is hide. It really? mm -hmm. I have never seen that. Yeah. I'm gonna go look that up after this. <laughs> So it's really funny because I was just telling Kim um, when I drive down the interstate mm -hmm. or go to the different locations, I, how many people every time they pass me are saying in their mind, Meowser, and then they always turn and look at me like, I'm going to be wearing yes. ears or whiskers <laughs> or something. They're probably <laughs> expecting a completely different picture when they see your license plate. I think people take pictures of my plates. <laughs> yeah. Funny. Oh man, that's a good one. I'm yeah. gonna, I'm I'm gonna get a picture of it and post it on our <laughs> Facebook now. Go right uh, ahead. <laughs> so yeah, you say you travel quite mm -hmm. a bit. So kind of give us some background. I do. I mean, I do. We, we're expanding and we're all over the state. So. Yeah. So when I came back four years ago, um, Steve and I sat down and had a conversation about what this was all gonna look like. And he said one of his expectations of me. He goes, and he, I quote, "I want you out of here," <laughs> which you know means go and make yourself known at the mm -hmm. various clinics. And I started to do that, and then we got hit with the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So I was traveling to Garner, you know, like once a month, or I'd mm -hmm. go to Belmont and try to find a hole or an office or something to work in. Um, now that we're all back together and it makes sense to do that, I've been working um, one day a month in Fort Dodge, mm -hmm. and then I took over the marketing for Iowa Weight Loss. Yeah. They had been doing their own. Uh, so in order to get to know the staff better and kind of get to know how they do things, I was working there once a week, mm. and now I've backed that down to twice a month. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah and then I try to work in Webster City when mm. I can. It's just really important, I feel, mm. um, for our department, especially for me, to get to know the people, where they work, how they do things, right. what they do, and I need them to know that there's a face on the other end of this department, mm. too. Well, it probably kind of gives you an idea of, like, where to market because, like, you know, different cultures, different atmospheres. So, like, going and being in that atmosphere probably gives you some good ideas on, like, mm -hmm. how to market. Right. Know? Right. And then it also gives us a little moment to spy on those departments to see, you know, if they have the appropriate signage up mm -hmm. or if they're using old logos. Mm -hmm. You know, we're always kind of skating around yeah. and taking a look. And yeah. Mm -hmm. I, say, I think we're up to date in HR, so I don't think you need to come by. You don't Unless think you I want to. to. I mean, uh, I feel like I hang out here enough, but, you know. <laughs> we need to reciprocate that yeah, every now so and just then. Just come visit us. I yeah. actually just bought a bonsai tree. Do you have tree. candy? Yeah. Okay. We usually have, like, cookies and candy, too. Yeah. yeah, no, but, yeah. I just bought a bonsai tree. Nice. Well, a seeds. A oh. Bonsai tree. Oh, so you still have to grow it? Yeah. Doesn't that take, like, 50 years or well, something? Well, me not reading the package. Oh. I, I was like, oh, this is cool. And I 
it said like one to two months for the seeds to even like germinate. I'm like, I'm gonna kill it before that. <laughs> right. it's, it's not making it a month. I don't, I you have don't, to be patient don't. to have a bonsai. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It was either that or a rose bush or something. I was just like, get I'm a like, fish. Can we have fish? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. you just put it on your desk. Okay. Somebody, somebody, maybe it was. Steve's old assistant. Somebody had one. Really? Yeah, one of those black, oh, the, you know, the the beta, beta, beta fish. fish. Yes. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. well, I'm gonna go back to Lori and ask yeah. now. So, um, so yeah, you travel professionally, but I feel like you guys are always traveling personally too. Like mm. I see all of your stuff on Facebook. Yeah, we do. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 We go to Des Moines a lot and Ames, and right. we went to Nashville. Oh, just casually. Yeah, I just went to Nashville. Yeah, what do you want to do this weekend? No, went to, to South to Dakota. Well, with you a couple also friends. Uh, ride your motorcycle a ton. Yeah, yeah, we have a Harley. Yeah. That's why I wear black. My Harley boots <laughs> on the day. <laughs> yeah. No, that's awesome. So, like, how's the work life balance? Like, you know, you're traveling professionally, but then you guys also are very active personally traveling. So, mm -hmm. how's that work life balance there? I think it's good. Mm -hmm. I think it's something that we can all do better at. Um, but, I mean, I think once you get a little bit older mm -hmm. and you've been here longer and you kind of learn how, you know, what's most important, mm -hmm. what can wait, those types of things. I mean, I have my weeks. Last week was a week, <laughs> you know, where the balance was way off. Mm -hmm. This week feels better. Because you're starting it off with me. See? Exactly. Thank you. Know. Yeah, I kind of know. I mean, <laughs> now you guys know every right. Monday with Dakota makes your week better. <laughs> so much better. I know Nikki's so ecstatic anytime I call her. So you're right. Yeah, yeah. She's like, well, hello, Dakota. I was like, hello. Yeah. I got another idea for yeah. you. And I feel like too. I think, you know, just to put a plug in for the for like your department mm -hmm. and um, the system overall. I think there's a huge emphasis placed on work life mm -hmm. balance, and I think it works. Right. Um, I've never had a problem with going up to my boss who is right. the CEO and mm -hmm. saying, hey, I need some help, things are off, you know, and he's he's just like, you're fine, right. don't worry about it. I put more pressure on myself mm -hmm. than anybody mm -hmm. to get things done. Or, right. So. And like, yeah, like I've never been nervous to go to my boss and say, hey, this schedule is not working for me, mm -hmm. can I do something? Like, you know, I haven't worked out in like three months, so I last week. It's just, I had no ambition. I'm not getting up early in the morning. I'm not going after work because I'm tired. Right. So now I've been, I asked her and I was like, hey, like, I'm not working out. I need to work out. Can I do it over my lunch period? You know, take a little bit of a longer lunch and yeah. go work out. She's like, no, I love that idea. Yeah. Like, that sounds like a really good idea. And, you know, like, I'm still getting all my work done. You yeah. know, it's not affecting my work, but it's just nice that it's just that very open communication line and yeah. you can change your schedule. Obviously, salary is different than hourly, mm -hmm. but, you know, it's just, I love the flexibility there. Yeah. It's phenomenal. We were just down helping the Iowa Weight Loss open their clinic on mm, Friday yeah. or, you know, move actually. And there's, a, it's such a huge space mm -hmm. that Steve was um, telling Javier, he said, you got to get these people up on Tai Chi in the morning. So here's your space. Right. Everybody does it when they get there, and then everybody's zen. Is it like yoga? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh. more mindful okay. breathing. And, mm -hmm. I was say, I've done yoga before, and it's just it's not. Not me. yours, yeah. They told me to get into one position. I was like, ah, I'm not. So, <laughs> How do I get yeah. out of it? <laughs> yeah, well, it, it was like childbirthing pose or something like that. Oh, I don't geez. know. It was it was something where I was like, I'm just I'm just gonna sit and watch. Yeah. Just, just do what you're good at. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk some relationships. Sure. What kind of, like, you know, you've done kind of a plethora of other things mm -hmm. in the hospital, outside of the hospital. So what kind of relationships have you built here at a specialty? Um, really good ones, actually. And especially, I don't know, it's different being a leader mm -hmm. because sometimes that socialization is forced through, you know, our LDIs that we have, mm -hmm. you know, four times a year. But it's good. Mm -hmm. It's good to be able to sit down with your peers, um, you know, on a quarterly basis and interact mm -hmm. on a more casual level. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it's different for us now being offsite, right. so the relationships are still there. Mm -hmm. I mean, we talk to people still, we email all those things, but it's just different um, for the offsite locations as, mm -hmm. as it is opposed to seeing people in the hall right. at the hospital. Yeah, I'm sure Nikki loves that you say hi to her about 20 times a day. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Just because you don't have that. Hey. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Right. Yeah. Um, I feel, yeah, I, we've made some phenomenal connections here. Like, we knew two people before we moved here and, yep. um, you know, just making all those connections inside the hospital and then they're now outside of the hospital where we're going to lunch with people, going to dinner with people, yeah. you know, hanging out at campgrounds with um, other employees and stuff like that. Yeah. And, 
um, also our parties. You know, mm -hmm. the parties that we like. Steve's backyard party was so much fun. It was. It was fun. It was nice to see people outside of the professional it is, view. Yeah. You know, because like the new, sometimes you know, like leaders and stuff. Where if you're below a leader, you kind of see them as like, oh, but my boss, I can't really talk to him, or you know, like kind of situations like that. But then you see them at these parties, and they're just normal people. Yeah, I never get that sense here, and I never have. Right. And interestingly enough, Steve, Steve and I were friends before. Mm. He brought me on to the hospital mm -hmm. all those years ago. Mm -hmm. So we used to work out at the fitness center together, oh, yeah. and then yeah. just struck up a friendship and mm -hmm. and then he called me one day he's like hey uh we need a marketing department oh, are you okay. interested in starting one i was like i that sounds really scary but right. let's well, do it I mean, look at you now <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah grown into this beautiful yeah product it's so. crazy when you stop and think about mm -hmm. it but um i think one of the really cool things about this whole mm -hmm. organization is how approachable everybody yeah. is Mm -hmm. And I think they do that on purpose. That's a pl that's a planned mm -hmm. um, situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I th I, th I think the culture and the atmosphere makes that feasible. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's not where it's just like a structured thing, and you go through these channels and all this stuff. Right. It's more of you just see somebody in the hall and you can talk to them. You know, yeah. it, it's I definitely think the culture is a big factor. Of that. I have, I have worked for two of our competitors, mm -hmm. and you know I I say that in air quotes because I. They either are or they aren't. They do some mm -hmm. things that we don't do, it's uh, fine. But totally different mm -hmm. atmosphere, completely different culture. You have, did have to go through some of those channels. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I just couldn't walk into the CEO's right. office and strike up a conversation mm -hmm. or, or feel like I was bothering them. Yeah. So it is, it is different. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I like it. And it affects me personally too, you know. Mm -hmm. Like I'm saying hi to everybody. Before the job, I never would have said that. I probably would have put my head down and right. kept walking or walked faster to get right. away from somebody. You know, here now I'm just like head up, you know, saying hi to everybody, which yeah. it's, I, it's a really nice thing. I actually was part of the creation of the standards of behavior when that whole thing started. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, we would, we would do the 510 rule mm -hmm. and we would, you know, do all the things that were expected of you. And literally I had people come up to me and say, you kind of like work for a cult. Isn't that like a cult? Oh, yes. 100%. And, like, yeah, it is. But it's not like a cult you don't want to be right. part of. It's Well, that's like when I ask people, I was like, what What does Iowa Specialty feel like? Like if you said it in one or two words, they're like family. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, well, we can't have every single person saying family, but that's how yeah. they truly feel. Yeah. You know, it's not just like pounded into their head that we're a family. Right. Right. They come here, they work here, and then they start to realize, no, we are just a big family. That's true, you know? because not, all, not everybody gets along. Right. Sometimes we cry. Sometimes we yell and scream, and just like family. Then you get over it and you move on. Right. So. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. It's definitely a big family. Mm -hmm. big Thanksgiving family is kind of how I like to think about it. There you and, go. You know, it's it's a lot of fun to sit down together. And a little Christmas vacation mixed in there. Now we watched that last night. Did you? Yes, <laughs> we did. Well, we're decorating for Christmas already. You know. Yes, your plethora of trees. Mm -hmm. Those started working out of the garage into the house now. So nice. yes. Well, we told people because our house used to be popular for the haunted houses mm -hmm. or whatever. We're like, well, we're not big Halloween people, but let us get to Christmas. Well, we'll impress you <laughs> at Christmas. <laughs> Just wait. Yeah, I actually wrapped our front door and gift wrapped this or yesterday. Nice. And, Have to drive yeah, by. I'm not a crafty person, but I saw something on TikTok and I was like, oh, I gotta try that. Can and it looks great. Yeah, I bet know? it does. Yeah, and we have those little lions that are wrapped in lights now. And nice. Yeah. So we're going big. We're going big. Have you decorated yet? No, I'm, I'm, we're gonna wait. Christmas is big though for us. Mm -hmm. We love it. Mm -hmm. Well, you're now. You have a granddaughter now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Two, two grandkids. Mm -hmm. How's that? Perfect. You love it. Love Best job presents. ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Already bought Christmas presents. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, on top of it already. Mm -hmm. Well, they're kind of easier to shop for when they're still younger, you know. Yeah. You can buy them any toy, and they love it. Yeah, but, it's more fun that way. Yeah, mm -hmm. I. I planned for like years on what to buy for Christmas and it never actually turns out. Yeah. So my husband just told me the other day, he goes, I have a list going. You can just look in our Amazon photos. Mm -hmm. I was like, um, oh, okay. I usually gift Legos. Yeah. It's always the safe bet. So nice. Yeah. Um, one final question before yeah. we wrap this up. Are we going back to the North Iowa Fair next year? On the but spot, I know. I would prefer probably not. Yeah. I think I think there's other things that we can do yeah. that we I, I am not one of those people I like change right. sometimes 
I don't, yeah. but I get as older I get. But I think it's time to um, shake things up a little bit. I like that answer. I like that answer. I'll ask you again in like three months. Right. Sure it's still the same. <laughs> but yes. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining You're us. Very it was welcome. such a, it was for such a good me. time. Um, thanks for joining us. Uh, check back every week for a new Ish Talk episode.